G'day, I'm Chris, and this is Game Chambers, and we are once again back with Total War, Warhammer 2, and the Silence and the Fury DLC. So we're going to continue our Oxyodal campaign. We've managed to retake our initial province after we lost one of our cities to the nearby neighbouring Norskans. We also had a couple of our Visions of the Old Ones um, quest targets just kill themselves, so whether they've um, gotten into wars or just committed suicide, I don't know, because I didn't actually get to see them. So we're going to jump back in. We've got one vision quest to get done, I think, and we've got to push the Norskans back out of our territory. And then I think uh, we have another quest to go to war with the Dark Elves. So we're going to try not to take much territory. I don't want to paint the world um, green, I guess, for... Um, what do you call it? Oxyodal. Anyway, I don't want to paint the map in Oxyodal's cattle. I want to sort of really lead into that vision quest. And something I hadn't done was checked his campaign objectives. So... So it is to complete 25 of these, three chapter objectives, and destroy these factions. So we're just going to go for a short campaign victory. Um, so we do need to do vision quests, and they need to be normal and hard difficulty. We need to do three chapter objectives, and we need to wipe out these factions here. The Slaughtered Horn Tribe, the Wall World Walkers, and a Clan Molder. So let's get into that. What is our current chapter then? So i got to do more visions of the old ones. So, we've got no vision quest at the moment, that's why I've got zero down there. We've got a new uh, Croxigor Ancient who's going to be used to swat things around while Oxyotl goes off and does what needs to be done. So, let's. What's this place got defending it? Uh, garrison details. Where's the Palace of Ruin? Oh, we already took that one, okay. So, we might take this place as well. It does have another port. Okay, Shagroth, uh, let's get you... No, we can't move. Why can't we move into the... Oh, he's already in, already in the city. Okay, Oxyodl. Our other quest, I believe, for the Golden Blow type of Patui is to go and piss off the Dark Elves. So, let's see, what do we have? Who is the weakest Dark Elf? So, you've only got one province up here. you only got one at Spite Reach as well. So, let's go and... Pick a fight over this side, shall we? Let's get you into march stance and start walking this way. Rogel can guard over here. And there we go. So hopefully we get some vision quests. I'm not sure how we get more of them. And what do you want? So you're just declaring war on me. You're just another Norskin tribe. And it is not an issue at all. I'm happy to have all the Norskans at war. That is this Croxicle's job, is to guard the um, guard the Heartland, I suppose. While Oxyodal heads out and does what has to be done. Okay, so... And we are going to have to come over here by the looks of it, because this is where the World Workers... World Walkers... World Walkers... Can't say that very well. Ah, and that is our one of our uh, objective quests. So let's jump into Nagra as we head over. Imminent Rebellion, hey? Okay, cool. That's... We might head up with this guy to farm the Rebellion, or do we just go and take this because it's got nothing at it? We'll just go and try and take this one. We'll get a Rebellion and we'll have to go clear it later. No issues there. I actually have to march, or he might not reach next turn. There's this little uh, fjord heading into up here, but that should get him there now. Then we'll have to deal with this guy. Okay, going to be interesting. He might struggle a little bit. Um, you're in there to replenish. Now, let me have a look at my Sart Sanctum. What do we got going on here? We don't really want that here. I'm going to actually demolish that. And I am going to upgrade us here, but we don't really have a huge amount of cash. Unless reducing our upkeep. And our income. For three grand. We might do that, actually. And then we'll get... I think there's one that adds to replenish. No. I don't know. We'll have a look at what our options are afterwards. We want that one to ambush in our private sanctum over here. Let's no, how do we look at our sanctums? Up here, that's right. No? How do I switch to the sanctum view? 
I did this before. That one? No. Violet Sanctums. Um, I know I've got one around here somewhere. I just don't know how to look at it. There it is. But how do I get into the Sanctum view? Hmm. It must only be available when I have a new Sanctum because I thought it was this button up here. Okay, so where was it? Down here, our Sanctum. Now we've got visibility down here. We also want to get uh, this one here. I want to just get a chance of ambushing enemies in this region. Um, just to see what it does. I mean, just to be a bit of a nuisance. A bit of a pest, I suppose. Which is what I think uh, Oxyodal's campaign is all about. Just being an absolute nuisance to everyone, everywhere. Alright, well that's a... A little bit of an issue. That's bolstered the strength of the fortress there. Our Croxigor Ancients Army may not be able to take that. We'll give it a go. It does have a bunch of blessed Croxigors. Yeah, that's going to get destroyed, isn't it? Uh, it's a close defeat. What's the battlefield like? Let's give it a go. We They don't have any range. They're all just Marauders. I don't think we can beat the Chaos Lord, though. I think the rest of the chaff will go down pretty quickly. Well, they are Spearsaurus, which is a bit unfortunate. Do we have some favourable terrain somewhere? We do have a hill. Are we aquatic? Just the Skinks, I think, are aquatic, aren't they? Aquatic, yeah. What's the penalty that we get in shallow water? Speed and melee attack. Well, that'll help us. Let's get the skinks in the water. Might as well take, make use of these aquatics. Saurus unit there. Actually, they'll lead a Saurus unit. We want to keep at the back. We don't want them to die. Saurus unit there. Saurus unit there. And I don't think we can win this. Oh, it's a sorcerer, is it? We're going to force them to fight us in the swamp, in the water. Okay, Marauders, Marauders, Marauders. There's the Warhounds, Marauders, Marauders. If we can get them to collapse onto these four units, I can bring this one around and start doing some flanking. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Now, let's check get a charge bonus here. Oop, missed that one. Even though they're spears, Sora spears still have got a 10 charge bonus, and they're not going to get any dip, any of their uh, benefit by not um, charging. Yeah, it's a bit of a nuisance from that fireball wizard, but bring these guys over here and collapse into the back of these guys, and we're not really winning any of the fights. The Skinks are losing. Fireball actually was a pretty good hit there. Alright, let's just fast forward a bit here. Okay. So this Skink cohort has won. Let's... We'll sacrifice these Saurus and we'll collapse in on these Marauders from behind. And then the Skinks might actually be able to win it. So even with the bonus from Aquatics, Skinks still not going to beat Marauders, but... Alright, let's fast forward a bit. What are these hounds doing? See if we can get a counter charge before we get hit in the rear there. We got that off. They're definitely going to lose. Well, we might lose this one, but we might win this one. I think we are just losing across all the across the front, actually. Yeah, we've, we're going to lose this. It's all right. Here we go. Valiant defeat. It was correct. If they weren't sort of spears, we might have had a bit had more of a chance there. Uh, might have been another way to play that as well. I'm not sure what else we could have done though. Outnumbered, no ranged. Yeah, there we go. What are they gonna do? Oh, this burnt to the ground. Well that's fine. It actually doesn't bother me. Alright, let's 
switch to stands and see what we've got come up here. Valiant defeat. They do have a lot of spearmen, don't they? The garrison's good. Only one champion unit. Marauder hunters are a bit of a hassle because they're going to go through the armor of the blessed crocus of gores. Um, what's he got? I don't actually know if we can win this. I don't think we can win it, but let's give it a go. The spears, yeah, and the hmm. Well, all we can do is give it a try. If we lose, well. I think what we want to do though is keep our stuff together. Keep us all nice and tight so we can actually have the auras. Yeah, is this self? Yeah, keep the. It's a target, isn't it? Yep, targeted. There's a mini unit. Alright, let's just go for it. We're just going to charge on in. What is that trying to tell me? I don't recall ever seeing that before. What is that? Come up on both sides? Ah, oh, that's cool. I don't... I've played this game for a lot of hours and I don't know if I've ever seen that arrow. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Try and... See if they'll let us come in on collapse on the flank a little bit. They're going to force us to go uphill, but the water is not going to affect us because we are all aquatic here. But the slope definitely will affect us. Are they actually going to attack us here? Or are they just going to keep forming this formation to look at us? Looks like they are going to attack us. Oh, I want you guys out of there. And then you lot, just charge straight on into the middle. You get onto that lord. Now just push through. Ah, oh, what are we doing? I want you on that unit up there. A few of you stuck, do we? You in there, and you in there. Okay, let's see what we can do about this. Why are you still in over here? You're supposed to be fighting up here. So that unit's gotten themselves stuck somehow. What have we done? Yeah, a couple of marauders have gotten in the way. This is going to go extremely badly. Yeah, I should not have taken this fight, should I? At least we are making a mess of the chieftain. Coxgar Ancient is doing really well here. The damage on those berserkers. Those berserkers are just chopping through us. And those skinks. Yeah, having that unit split and separated like that did not work out well for us. Is it gone? Can I use that on them? I can. Ah, this fight's pretty much done. Wow, those Croxicor. Less Croxicors did nowhere near what I was hoping they would. It's alright. I thought we were going to lose this before we started. I just didn't think it would be quite so convincing of a loss. There we go. Decisive defeat. That was even worse than the auto-resolve. So we actually all broke. We didn't really. This Ginks and the Croxigors didn't take a whole lot of damage. Everyone just ran away. Okay, but we needed to clear up the... Uh, it didn't really clear up much of our income, did it? Well, let's... F can't fall back, but I think we're far enough away that he's not going to be able to support with the fortress. Alright, let's... Ah, oh, look at this. The, the, um... 
Okay, going to war with the Dark Elves is not a good idea now. Because they've all gone and confederated. Uh, how... in this so how can I tell how strong you are? I can't really, can I? Strength rate 58, four settlements, there we go, I can't tell. Fine. Where are the Dark Elves? So the, the weakest... Grond is actually the weakest. Where are where is Grond? In there somewhere? Spite Reach. So Kurak. So you've got four settlements. You've got one there, and you own the whole broken lands. Okay. I don't really want to piss off Malekith's army in Nagarond. Grond might be the way to go. If I have to start a fight with the, the Lizardman. Oh, hello there. Fancy meeting you out here in the middle of these frozen wastes. Okay, research. We've only got one option. What are options here? Income, recruit rank, slant mage priest. We could always use a slant, couldn't we? We don't really have the income for another army right now, and we don't have any vision quests, so we'll keep working on what we got. Uh, you want a peace treaty? No, no. If I say no, I'm hoping you'll attack me. Yep. Okay. Well, let's fight this one out because if I do the, I should check the other resolve. That's right. We can see the outcome now. But I imagine it would have got our um, our Croxigor Ancient killed. But we should be able to win this. Spears. They actually did quite well last time, didn't they? I thought our armor on the Croxigors would have been more effective against them, but. It didn't actually work out that way. Okay. Let's just charge these guys forward into the fight. That's probably what the auto resolve was going to make us do. There's actually very little else we would want to do with this fight. Gotta make sure the Croxigors get paddling down those berserkers and get something chasing those hunters, which is probably going to be a Croxigor unit as well. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We don't want you fighting that lord. Get you fighting something less dangerous to you. Yeah, just push on through and chase those hunters. That can be your job. Yep, chase those hunters around. So the red crested skinks are actually going to lose to Marauder Spearmen, are they? They were a bit weaker, I guess. Take this berserkers down. So that's about all you can do is chase that unit. Right, let's just fast forward this one. You might actually lose in melee to these Marauder hunters. No, he just flat out died. Maybe I should have <laughs> done the auto resolve in this case. I'm gonna actually lose this fight. Oh, that's a little bit bad. I mean, especially now those Marauder Hunters are online. Okay, you guys chase off there. Nope, you're gonna break and flee. Right. Yeah, I think we might actually lose this. 
I really expected the Croxigar Ancient to be able to beat Marauder Hunters in close combat, but they do have a really high melee attack. Yeah, we lost. Well, we should have definitely auto-resolved. Well, I'm not really uh, putting on much of a show here, are we? Alright, let's stay away from Croxigor Ancients and Croxigors. I'm definitely not using them right. I'm amazed. I knew he was low. But I really thought that he'd be able to um, beat that unit in melee. There you go. At least that solves our, um, our income issue. Where are you going to go, Mr. Mung? Hopefully Oxyodal will be able to catch you. You know, it's sort of when you know you've, uh, you're not playing well is when the auto-resolve does better than you do. Alright, so let's just go deal with that. That should be an auto-resolve. Sure, what you were hoping to achieve there. Yeah, no casualties. Uh, we'll take the treasury. Actually, the replenishment. So we're going to have to fight again, aren't we? Okay, so it's leveled up our oracle. What were you getting? Um, so we've got Flock of Doom. Cooldown, leadership, missile range, missile. No oh, missile strength, sorry, melee attack. Do we want the primeval raw? Yeah, we do. That looks pretty good. So let's go down this pathway. Gonna have to deal with this army, aren't we? So let's. Still no vision quests. They're probably gonna attack that city there next turn. Don't, I really don't want to put defensive structures, but. If I'm going to lose fights with the, uh, <laughs> the little armies and I don't have much income, I'm going to have to put my pride away and get some defensive buildings, aren't I? Alright. I guess we could use the growth heroes. Now, do we have any heroes available? I think that's what our quest was, to recruit a skink chief, wasn't it? Yeah, recruit a skink chief. Okay. Of defense, armor and melee defense, and charge bonus and immune to psychology. Chance of wounding aggressors. Nothing exciting here. This one's probably the best option for us. And let's go and join Oxyodal with our chief. Okay. We might grab a slan for our next army. Uh, I would much rather have a caster. So we'll do the right that gives us a slang. So are they going to be able to attack Shagrath this turn? Not quite, so Oxyod will be able to get over there. So they're going to send another army over. I've definitely gone and annoyed all the Norskins, haven't I? Alright, let's just go and eradicate the Norskins with Oxyod. Can I get to him with a normal move? No. But I'll be able to get over here with a march, and then the city will be able to attack them. Can they? No, the city can only attack if they're within the range. Okay. Alright, let's upgrade the capital. And let's conduct the Rite of Awakening and get ourselves a slam. See what we get. I think we get a random law of magic, do we? Ah, uh, life. Not even going to think twice about that. So now, how do I recruit him? Recruit Lord, Slam Mage Priest, second generation. Second generation, that's pretty powerful, I think. Okay. Now, let's not recruit any units yet, we're a little bit broke.
Bit of check to see if we got any gear to put on this new skink chief as well and on this land. Because I think I had a couple of bits of magic item and a couple of magic items from early on that we could reuse here. Yep, yeah, back in the water with you. I wonder if we can actually pursue him or are we gonna to be too slow in the water? Because I really don't like playing Benny Hill with the AI on this game. So we can't keep up with him. Alright, cue the Benny Hill music. Oh, we got some visions there. Okay. So in that case... We can't really get any closer, can we? Alright, let's check our Skink Chief. What can we give him? Tormentor Sword. Yeah, it's got the snare on it. We'll put that on him. Okay. And for our slan, I don't think we had any items good for you, did we? I mean, we can give you two more melee defense. Yeah, sure. You know, Warrior Bane. Alright, let's have a look at our vision quests. So, this one up here is an easy kill the puppets. So these are all nine turns to finish. Uh, and it's one of Agol's army, so that's good. Raise or conquer the Anguiel. It's a random, no corrupt, no country for corrupt men. In your latest vision, you see warm bloods reveling in ritual and screaming the names of the dark gods. Their guard reveal them as a vile, untamed Norskans. They speak in tongues to invoke their masters, who in turn will empower them to s empower them to spread chaos's foul taint. This threat will only end by raising their homeland to the ground. Destroy Norska settlement. Does that mean Norska has taken over the Anguiel? Interesting. What do we have over here? The forms of many evil. The threats of chaos appear to you in many guises and not just those as, not just as those directly enthralled to the ruinous powers. One such corrupted force has been revealed to you. A crucial cog in the Dark God's wider plans that marches in the wake of mass bloodshed and destruction. I wonder what army that is. Can we see? Oh, here we go. That's a Skaven army. Okay. Let's go to this one and have a look. Yeah, okay, so the World Walkers have taken Languiel, and Wolfric himself is there. Not too old. Interesting. What do we have all the way down here? A deception revealed. The devious Chaos Gods covertly scheme in support of many martial powers that stand against order. By the grace of the Old Ones, a vision of one possible deception of this nature has not passed you by. You strongly sense that this evil marches to serve ruinous ends and cannot be allowed to thrive, or more importantly, exist. Blessed Skink Skirmishers? Okay. And what is this going to be? Another Skaven army. Okay. Um, I think that is it for us at the moment, though. We definitely need to get some money income happening so that we can get Oxyodal off doing what he needs to be doing. So I definitely don't want to try and take any other territory. I think I'm just going to stick to this province up here. And we just need a defense army. So this Norskan army is just going to outrun me, isn't it? Alright, so we've got... Got walls up. This is exactly what we need. We want to be off fighting around the world, and we are playing whack-a-mole in our own lands. It's at full speed, we can't even catch up. There you go. So we might lose Nagra because we just can't get into range. Okay. Alright. Yeah, not much I can do about that. And there's Beastman hiding in there somewhere too, isn't there? So we should be right here, but he's not a concern. Especially if I build a couple of skinks here. So these got the same stats. They're basically the same unit. Skink cohorts and skink cohorts. Looks like they are the same. Why is it not letting me compare? 23, 28, 28, 10. 23, 20, 
28, 28, 10. Yeah, so they're exactly the same. So I wouldn't want to take normal cohorts when I can take cohorts with javelins. Okay, and let's do that for now. Get Oxyodal on the ground next turn. And then we can go back and start doing his vision quest, which will hopefully give us some money to support the Slan's army, and the Slan can defend us. Yeah. So we knew that was going to happen, we just weren't as fast as that Norskan army, which is a bit of a, a bit of a pain. But we should just be able to easily take it back as well. And what does this do? The right a warrior kind. Untainted and increased recruitment cost. Oh yeah, we'll take that. Should have read that out. Can we not actually attack at this turn? There we go. How do they have a half strength garrison and a fully healed army immediately after destroying mine? That's that is a pain. And it's gonna look, look, I don't know if I can be bothered playing this fight out. What are we gonna lose? A couple of melee units. What do they have ranged? They have nothing ranged except one Marauder Hunter. Alright. I guess I deserve having to fight this one out. So let's just run rings around them and shoot them to death while we hide our army in the bushes again. And they'll eventually flee and yeah, then we gotta rebuild the city. Such a pain. Okay, cool. So let's get our melee force Of you guys hiding in this bush over here. There we go. And everybody else, let's start over here so we can be a nuisance. So you need to be group three. You guys are going to be group two. You're group four. Who are you? So my oracle, you're my chief. What can you do, Chief? Not much, so you can just uh, go and chill with these guys. Maybe on the front line. And you can be number five. Alright. Let's, let's make a mess of their lord, shall we? Give him a few fireballs. One fireball. Two fireballs. Where is he? Here you go. Another fireball for you. Why are you guys getting caught here? Okay, let's get them back out of there. No, that's right, I need to turn that off you guys. You can just keep running around. They're not going to catch you. Um, let's turn that on and turn that on. We'll go invisible. Now yeah, where's our fireballs again?
Okay, what's the next target? Not Marauders, it's a waste of our firepower. Get out of there. No, no, where are you going? <laughs> that lord with another fireball. Can't do it. Be fast enough to outrun that. We're getting nicely packed up now, aren't they? Still bonus damage? Yeah. the bound fireballs. Where is that wizard? There he is. Now let's just keep on moving. Keep on scooting. Keep on shooting. Okay. Now we're going for winds of magic. We're doing alright. Let's get to so kill off that lord if we can. Let's keep moving. Yeah, look at that um, new AoE on those spells in this patch. It's pretty crazy. Make sure you kill him. Okay, so that's dead. Lord is down. We can break off these ice trolls. Yep, ice trolls are gone. And now what's left? It's really just now a matter of clearing up the chaff, isn't it? So they're shattered. They're grouped up again for another um. What do we call it? Another. What is that spell? Uh, flock of Doom. Okay, come out of there. I'll just drop a flock of Doom on them anyway, I suppose. And we'll just keep on moving. Are they still not seeing Oxyodal? He's still invisible. Look how close he is. They still can't see him. That's amazing. Can he not auto attack while he's in that stance? I can't see it in there, so he must have. I must have just turned it off. Okay, let's drop another flock of demons. It picks up stuff a fair distance away, doesn't it? Alright, let's keep moving. Don't really have a good fireball target anymore. Let's just throw it in the into the middle of this mass. What are you doing, Oxy? Still got plenty of ammo, so we can still keep this kite and fight going for quite a while. Probably nearly at the point where we can start terror rounding some of them, but oh, they got a range unit in there. Doesn't show you the flash that it's going to get them, does it? But it does definitely pick them up.
Alright, there we go. That's the mass route. And there's the shatter. Uh, they were defending a city, so we don't have to chase them around. Heroes haven't taken damage, so Earth Blood's not necessary. And there we go. Got our city back. All that game and cat and mouse, and for nothing. Alright. Good job, Hellspire Tribe. You managed to frustrate and annoy me for 30 dead skinks. And the loss of my city. Should have just stayed in Norska. We'll have our city back, please. They, they lower its... Yeah, they lower its tier. Alright, what do we get here for level up? Uh, poison to the warp? Sure. What about our oracle? Uh, what's Flock of Doom going to do? Makes it slightly cheaper. Cool, we'll go with that. Skink Chief, what do you get? Retreat Replenishment? That's what I think we want. Especially once we start moving into enemy territory. Okay, so we don't know where he is. We have a commandment available again, so we'll go back to the growth commandment. And that's about it. And this seems to be a bit of a trend. How about we end this episode on retaking of the Deadwood again? So we've managed to achieve effectively nothing, but we're now at turn 21. And we have reclaimed our initial province. So... I need to stop playing whack-a-mole. I need to get out there and start doing these vision quests. And I think that is the plan. Secure this area, get some defensive structures in the cities, get a defensive army built led by this slan, and then just start going and doing the vision quests. That's what I want to do. Uh, it is not really letting me do it at the moment with all the stuff that keeps coming into our province, but otherwise we'll force it next time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. If you've enjoyed the content, give me a like and subscribe down at the bottom and we'll see you in the next video.